let's just say a quick word of prayer. Father Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We thank you for all the things that you have done for us and again the things that you're going to do for us. We pray that your presence shall not depart from us and your word shall abide with us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Good morning everybody. I want to believe everyone is well. I want to believe everybody is enjoying the beautiful sunlight outside. Um, by the grace of God, today what I want to be talking about is health and in the current time that we are in, health is, a, health is a very important factor in the way that we live our lives. So, the aim of today is to understand what health is, to understand how to remain healthy and to be able to understand the importance of actually doing so why do we stay healthy why do we do the things that we need to do amen so before we can actually get into all of these things we need to actually discover the definition of health what health actually is and health according to the dictionary according to some science is done um, according to a lot of research is defined as a state of complete physical mental and social well-being not just the absence of disease or infirmity and biblically health can be termed as what we call being whole a state where the mind spirit and the body are healthy in christ amen, amen. and one of the truths that we need to understand is taking care of the body as a whole person is essential in enabling us to do our best for god and Things like prosperity can only occur under the, under the conditions that we are healthy, that we are flourishing physically and spiritually. Amen. And before we get into a few things that um, I've, I'm going to say today, I want to have a look at a couple of miscon misconceptions. Um, the first one, people don't tend to understand that rest is also a very important part of health. Amen? Amen. People don't understand the importance of rest. Having a peace of mind allows us to review, to reflect, and then after doing both of those, we are unable to be able to react. Now, a peace of mind can be attained through the health of the mind and the spirit. It's also good practice to have physical rest, which is obviously, as we know, sleeping, which is also very important. Let's take a look at Mark 6, verse 31. It says here that he said to them, Come away by yourselves to a secluded place and rest a little while. For there are many people coming and going, and they could not even find time to eat. Amen. That is, the, that is Mark 6, verse 31 from the Amplified Version. Amen. And now another thing that we might want to look into is that this, this, this belief by people that not eating can be effective for weight loss. Now, a lot of people are starving themselves physically for what, what they deem to be weight loss. But the thing is, a lot of people are also starving themselves spiritually. And they're, still, and they're still expecting to be lifted of their burdens and their stress and the other things that are weighing them down. But they expect this to happen without consequence. Starvation causes fatigue and stress. It can cause one to act out of their character. And in realising this, I understood that being away from the word, which is what we should be feeding ourselves on, being away from the word can cause spiritual tiredness. We don't feel the need to pray. We can't discern spirits, all of that kind of stuff, because we are not taking it. We're not feeding on the right stuff. We're not feeding on the word that we need. And there's more. Another myth also is that cold, wet weather can't cause a cold. Now, I don't know all the sciences behind this. I don't know if we have any uh, doctors and everyone in the room that can uh, confirm the information. But this misconception delves into the idea that people's habits around us can affect us. The people that you surround yourself with can have an impact on you. Physically... That can include being around people that are drinking, people that are smoking, people that are doing all sorts of different and wrong things. Things that pollute and poison the body. Spiritually, that could be, 
Being around people that display sinful traits. People that don't always do the right thing. People that aren't making the right choices. And as Christians, it is very important for us to understand the people we surround ourselves with. But either way, we can establish that it is essential that we do not let the people that are outside destroy and corrupt what is inside, where God resides. I want to believe Jesus in this time was not, did not spend his time drinking and smoking because he understands the value of his body. And that's one thing that as workers, as Christians, we need to also value ourselves, our body. Amen. Amen. And this, this one that I uh, uh, found as well is called Sunblock is only needed when the sun is out. Now, people misunderstand the relationship between Christians, like between us as his children, our Father God is in heaven. Amen? Now, God, like sunblock, can protect us from all the different things that are happening in the world. And he's... When he is applied to our lives, like sunblock is applied to our skin, then we are kept away from all the dangerous things that happen in the world. However, sunblock is a tool. God is not at all and that's one thing that we need to understand as well for our health to be complete we need to understand that we should not only call upon God when we need something we should maintain a healthy relationship that consists of going to God every single day because by doing that we develop ourselves we develop our relationship with God and that is another that is another very serious factor in terms of our health in terms of our spiritual health Amen. Amen. Now, in discovering all of this, I realised that perfect health can be achieved by taking the right applications of knowledge. And uh, also, going back to what I was saying earlier about rest, what is the point? Because we are workers. Our, our, our job is to work for God. But what is the point of working tirelessly without rest mm. because what now if we work tirelessly day and night doing all sorts of different things and uh, uh, rushing and everything but we don't take time for ourselves some people are too consumed with work and don't take time to just rest and sit back and think about how is how is my relationship with God doing today have I taken time to you know talk to God allowed him to enlighten me, allowed him to guide me in the course of my day. And like I said before, God should not be one of those things we run to when we need something. Mm. That, that should not be it at all. Because by the grace of God, God made us to understand that he, he, him and the Holy Spirit, they are, they are more than just our father, they are also our friends. I want to believe Yes, you do run to your friends when you need something, but your friends aren't always just there for when you need something. They're there for a good talk, if you need support, if you need somebody you just want to tell something to. Friends have a lot of different functions besides just going to them for your problems. And we need to make use of this. So like I said before, God is not just for what we want, but he is for the relationship. That's what he values, the relationship between us. And through understanding all of this, we look at some reasons, some reasoning behind maintaining health. Now, just a few things that I put together here. It says that the, healthy, the healthier we are, the better enabled we are to serve God. Mm. Now, um, let's think about this. Say somebody wants to send two because in let okay. Let's 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 go let's go back. In the olden times when kings wanted to get messages across, they would send people with the message in, in some sort of scroll or whatever to the destination. Now what would be the better thing to do? To send somebody who is young physically active and you know they're healthy they they don't have any underlying issues they they're doing they're doing well they're strong they're active they exercise they're fast they are efficient 
Surely you would agree that it's better than sending somebody who is struggling, who is, how do I put it, who is, who is ill. Because when you think about it, if you, want to, if you want to send somebody to run for you, if you want to send somebody to run for you, you want to pick the healthiest, the fastest and most efficient person to do so. Agreed? Yeah. Yep. By the grace of God, if we were if we were looking at it, I want to believe you would much 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 prefer to send Usain Bolt, somebody who is fast, somebody who's quick, even though he's not in his younger days anymore. He's still fast, but he's still he's still he's still young. Rather than some I don't know, some person who's old, who's suffering, who 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 doesn't have the activeness, who doesn't have the how do I put it? Who doesn't have as much zest, as much energy. Amen? Amen. Now, uh, another reason for maintaining health is that taking care of the body is taking care of the temple of God. Uh, let's look at 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 15. It says, do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ? Am I therefore to take the members of Christ and make them a part of a prostitute? Certainly not. Now, that verse talks about valuing, valuing our bodies. That specific situation was talking about sexual immoralities. And other, but, but it can be applied to our health. Some of the things we do are not, are not healthy for us, are not good for us. And we just need to be aware of those. Another reason for maintaining health is that we are living sacrifices unto the Lord. I want to believe many of us know that already. Let's look at Romans 12 verse 1. Romans 12 verse 1. You know, it, in fact, let's, let's, go, let's go and read that in our own time. And... By the grace of God, God will reveal what he wants to. Some other reasons for being healthy is that being healthy projects the image of purity, which is holiness. Another reason is that only the healthy can take care of the unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because when you, when you think about it, the people that work for us in the NHS and... Uh, other other areas where healthcare is needed, it is advised that those people are healthy. Because if you if you have a disease, if you have an illness and you're coming in contact with somebody else who may already be unhealthy, then what you're doing is adding another burden to them. So it's better for us to be healthy so that we can help the people that are unhealthy. Another reason is that we can't work if our minds and bodies are not in a good state. Mm. And that's something that is vital for us to understand. Now quickly, as we progress, we want to look at how to remain healthy. And one of the first things we need to look at is eating right. And physically, you know, that involves having a balanced diet and um, staying away from junk and all sorts of things like that. But spiritually, it means we need to also have our balanced diet. It means we need to include the word, prayer, meditation, and a weekly dose of God's word. A weekly, maybe not even not even weekly, maybe, maybe it should just be daily. Just an encounter with God. That is your that is your balanced diet. Those are the things you need at equal proportions to be able to maintain your relationship with God. Now, all of these things, like God's intervention, like essential components of our spiritual diet um, and they inspire growth as a believer and they develop our strength the strength of our faith and our strength physically and you know whether we are whether we are eating right physically and spiritually they can both have an impact as us as a person now the next thing is personal hygiene Pro we all know that proper washing of our bodies is essential for healthy living um, but also it's good for us to have mental hygiene as 
I like to call it. It's good for our minds to also be clean. Not just in the not just in terms of sexual immorality and thinking bad things, but in terms of making sure there is space to think. Because a lot of the time, people t people like to use the excuse that work is taking me away from God. People over over crowd themselves with work, and it gets into their heads, and it, it's a struggle. It's tough. Your head is how do I put it? It's clouded. It's it's uh, it's full of the wrong things. But when we take time to release all of that. We cleanse our mind. We we go through a hygienic a, a process that is hygienic for our mind to make sure that our mind stays healthy. And the next point is to look at physical exercise. We know that when we exercise, when we do physical, when we have a run, maybe lift a couple of weights, lift some heavy things, it keeps you fit. It makes you strong, and it inspires it inspires your physical growth. But physical exercise also works in the, how do I put it, in, in a spiritual sense. The word you take in, we are in fact, we are encouraged to listen to the word and go do something about it. That is what the physical exercise is. We, we eat all the word, we take it all in and we go and do something with it. That is the physical exercise. That, because I want to believe when we go and we exercise, then... It also inspires growth, mm. just like physical exercise inspires growth. So it's taking the spiritual and applying it into the physical. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And another point is your social, emotional wellness. And yeah, that's, that's good for your mentality. Associate yourself with believers. Watch your mood. Be aware of symptoms. Take time to rest and avoid stressful situations. Another thing is avoiding living in overcrowded areas. Um, I want to believe we've all heard the uh, saying that three is a crowd. Now, one thing that God brought to me is that sometimes we are letting people that are outside interrupt what's going on on the inside. Mm. Sometimes our relationship with God is determined by other people. Sometimes there are more people in the house than there should be. Now, by the grace of God, we need to understand that the space that we have with God is for us and God. That's why Jesus went to pray in the morning when he, I want to believe he left and he was there by himself with God. He didn't, he didn't go and bring everybody. He went to pray by himself with God because by, by doing that, by spending time with God by yourself, you make sure that you are away from all the things that might be polluting. Because if, you, if you're stuck in a crowded house and maybe somebody somebody's corrupt, somebody has a... So say somebody has an illness and everybody is in that packed space, then, as we all know, spread of disease is possibly inevitable. But if we just space ourselves out a bit, give ourselves some room, then we can prevent such things. Amen. Amen. Also, health comes from taking the right steps and being obedient to the fullest. I want to believe when we learn about health and how to control and maintain it, there are things, there are instructions that we are given. And it's essential that we follow those instructions. Like the instructions that we are given now in this time that we are in. It is essential that we do follow those instructions. Amen. And to finish off, it is wise for us to plan for our health. The wise people see trouble coming and they keep clear of it. If we look at Proverbs 27 verse 12, that is, that is the verse that I'll leave with us to look at. Plan well for your health. Make sure you're doing the right thing, listening and obeying the instructions that you're given in order to keep yourself healthy. The word, the Bible is full of loads of things to keep ourselves healthy in various different ways let's pray Father Lord we thank you for what you're doing today we want to thank you for the sharing of your word we want to thank you because you will keep us healthy we want to thank you that you'll keep us healthy not just physically 
but you'll keep us healthy spiritually. You'll keep our mind intact. I pray that as we continue in our journey with you, that we will understand that there needs to be time for just you mm. and us. That we will not let people that are outside corrupt the beautiful relationship that we have with God. Mm. I pray that the health and prosperity will will follow us in all of our days in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name I've prayed. Amen. Amen. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, Pekulea, for charging us as workers this afternoon. And we are